Hello, good evening. Welcome to Armenian Pavilion. My name is Talar Kalenderian. Uh, I will introduce you to our pavilion. You can come in with me. So welcome, this is our entrance. As you can see, we are putting Armenian music, all our traditional music. Uh, can you speak a little bit about the music? Armenian music, there's a lot to say, <laughs> we right? Are, we are famous. I don't know what to say. This is okay. not live, right? No, no, it's not live. I've ah. had this part. Uh, okay. Of Before course. Uh, now. Uh, not sure. This, okay. No, no, not sure, no. Okay. But uh, we, are, we participate uh, a lot in the music competitions. Like there are a lot of singers participating in uh, Eurovision, it's a European singing competition. And uh, as you know, like uh, Armenia, we are very old uh, nationality. Uh, so we've been in the region like long time ago. Uh, we have like uh, some uh, some pendants uh, from. Let me double check. I will repeat the sentence. I don't want to say wrong uh, date. Uh, the uh, 12, century 11. Yeah, 11. So yeah. Christ. Yeah. So, like 3, so we years have old. yeah some uh, pendants from uh, 11th, 12th century BC, and this one they were they found it from bottom lake of Sevan. Uh, and here also we have uh, one item. It represents the solar system. This one is the Earth, and uh, they are saying it's the water and the land. And this one is the sun. This, the broken part, it should be on the right, the moon, then the other solar system plants. So this is also old one from uh, 11th or the 12th century BC. This piece, uh, mo all the items, they are the duplicated one because uh, the original one, we cannot bring it. This, we call it the birth certificate of uh, our capital Yerepuni. Now we call the capital Yerevan. Uh, and uh, when the king Arkishti, they, he made the city Yerepuni, he made this stone and he put it at the gate and he write with the cuneiform inscription and one of the sentences is saying, I'm Arkishti, the king, I'm building uh, Yerepuni, the city, to protect my people from the enemies. So he made the city year 782 before Christianity, it means until now, our capital is 2,800 years old. It's even, we say, older than the city of Rome. Here you can see about our history, the art. Uh, all these books, uh, they are uh, in Armenian, our language. We have uh, alphabet. This book, it's, it's called Urpatian book or Friday book. It was uh, printed and published, first printed and published book in uh, 1512. This book, it was uh, printed in Italy about astronomy. It means that time Armenian, they were reaching there. We, like our uh, knowledge, it was reaching to Italy. It was uh, printed in uh, Venetia year uh, seven, uh, 1755. Uh, we were talking Armenian. But uh, we couldn't write until Mesrop Mashtozi created our letters, 39 letters, year 405. So after 5th century, we started writing and uh, all our books in Armenian. This book, uh, we call it uh, Narek, it's our Armenian Bible. It was uh, written uh, in the 12th century by Saint, uh, we call it George Naregatsi, and in 2018 they put his bronze, bronze statue in Vatican. And uh, on this side, uh, we are showing uh, like some old items before uh, Christianity, for four to five centuries BC, drinking with uh, vessels, uh, they were used uh, by our kings. Here you can see goblet. This one is uh, the oldest one, between 21 and 22 century BC. Uh, on it there are uh, 25 uh, people and 36 animals. Also this belongs to our kings. So this is the proof that we were in the area like before Christianity. More books, history book uh, about our fight uh, with the Iranian. We had a lot of fight with them, but now we are in good relationship. Uh, that time they came to our capital, they made uh, their mosque, it's called Blue Mosque. Until now it's open, they come, they pray, the tourists also, they can uh, visit it. 
Here we have math book from the 7th century. As you see, there are no numbers because during that time in the 7th century, we didn't know the numbers. So we use our alphabet to write numbers and uh, dates. Uh, this is from the 13th century, it's a gospel. Because we are the first Christian country in the world, here it will show our religion uh, and the, the picture of the cross and one of the saints. First. Christian, Christian country. country in the world, yes. And in Jerusalem also they mention it, uh, Armenian, they are the first uh, country that adopted Christianity as their official religion. And before that, of course, before Christianity, we were uh, like praying for the sun, the uh, animals. Uh, in uh, 15 and 16 centuries BC, we were like praying, uh, cherishing the bull and the goats. The bull, it means sun and spring, and goats uh, for uh, rain and fertility. And of course, we have uh, other items. Ducks? Yeah. No. This is the Big nut for the gen. Yeah, only yeah. like items from before. Uh, and nowadays, uh, we have the history, but also we are uh, involving. Uh, we are a country of four seasons. We have uh, the spring, summer, fall, and winter. Here in the video, it's showing like uh, what kind of fruits with, uh, that we have, uh, the touristic activities, a lot of um, churches and uh, monasteries. And uh, this one here, it represents the tree of life. Uh, the tree of life, it means our history, it's deep uh, like the, the root of the tree, but we are growing, we are uh, going up in the sky and spreading, we are flowering also. And also it means like we have a lot of smart people, like a lot of uh, musicians uh, and uh, champion uh, gold uh, medalist winners uh, all around the world. And uh, of course uh, we have the technology in our heart. Uh, nowadays you can see more than uh, 600 startup companies, technology, innovation centers in Armenia, like not only Yerevan, all around Armenia. And this part is the future, what we do now. Uh, the two VRs, it's showing uh, our agriculture, uh, the technology, the IT, the touristic places. Uh, now we have a solar system uh, to reduce the electricity in Armenia. This is one of the uh, technology science centers. Uh, the concept is uh, they offer free rooms uh, for the students or the people that they want to develop uh, their projects. Uh, and the other part is the hotel and all the benefits, they take it, they use it for the region, either develop the uh, schools or help the kids. Here, uh, like uh, our technology, uh, like I said, a lot of uh, innovation, IT centers, IT laboratories we have. How many, how many people are living in Armenia? Nowadays in Armenia we are uh, 3 million, the population, but outside Armenia we are 10 million. It's like uh, Shal Aznavur, for Shal example? Shal Aznavur, yes, is one of the flowers on the tree. It's uh, French it's, uh, Armenian. the best ever, maybe? Yes. One of the best yes, ever. Yes, That's why musician. you talk about la francophonie right here. Uh, is a big partnership with the French language and everything? Yes, and uh, nowadays, uh, like, we have a lot of... Uh, wait, uh, nowadays we have schools and uh, for French university in Armenia and uh, some schools. Uh, they give the choice to the students to choose uh, French or English as their as their third language. All right. I cannot. Talk yeah, no more problem. Here. Yes. Yeah. And here uh, we you can see the pomegranate. It's our national fruit and some uh, handmade items uh, because we have a very nice uh, uh, handmade. Ah, uh, oh, I forgot. Handmade. Uh, no, no. Uh, carpet. No. Carpet. Anyway, let's yeah. cancel this one. No the, we had this one, the market here, ah, yeah. handmade some, market. There's some stuff here. Yeah, so we have uh, handmade markets uh, in uh, Yerevan, uh, and also we work with silver. We do handmade silver jewelries, as we have a silver mine. Uh, the music. Also, yes, uh, we have a lot of artists, music. Like you will see Armenian people dancing uh, in the streets and playing all the corner of uh, the capital city, Erevan. Uh, and here also on the wall we are showing a little bit of everything what we have in Armenia. 
Uh, let's start with the food, our cuisine. Is he, is he playing at the World Championships? I don't know the name, okay. yes. Le yeah. oh. No, no, sorry, it's okay. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I don't know which one. One of them is Artur Abraham. Let's check. No, I will no check with no Zaven. Okay. Yeah. So I will talk in general. Our cuisine is very rich. We have uh, the bread, the cheese, the barbecue, the beef. Uh, then the, we call it dolma. It's the grape leaves. Uh, the picture there. And uh, this one we call it sujuk. It's all walnut and the top is covered in uh, jelly made by grapes. Of course, we have uh, the church and the monument. This uh, temple is from Romanian time, uh, but of course, uh, we innovated some parts. Innovated yes, and we have the zip line, a lot of activities for tourists. To go to this uh, church, Datev, we call it, you have to take the longest cable card, uh, one of the longest cable cards in the world to reach there. And of course, we have the lake, Sevan Lake. Uh, the, the water is cold during the summertime, and we have a lot of uh, gold medalists in weightlifting, uh, wrestling, and uh, boxing. Uh, we teach chess in school as a part of cr curriculum, and of course, we have uh, winners, uh, like first place winners in chess. And as I talked uh, about technology, we have the Koev Center, uh, Tumo uh, Center, also. And this is the observatory. Uh, it was uh, right. 1,949 or 47, I don't remember. And a lot of churches, monument, and uh, you will see the cross uh, rock everywhere as we are the first Christian country. And the details you see, like we have there an angel. And here also all these are grapes. Uh, so it will show the artistic uh, side of Armenia. All right. Yes. Uh, so uh, uh, the, the the region sometimes having some issues, right, uh, politically and all this stuff. Yes. But uh, the the message here is the future should be just peace yes, for everybody. Yes, of course. And uh, nowadays uh, it's peace. Uh, thanks God. So I hope it will continue like this. And uh, we are like teaching our uh, children more to technology, to be peaceful, how to like uh, love all the nationalities and accept them all the countries around armenia uh, are muslim countries need to be friendly uh, uh, yes we are like we had a big war with turkey but uh, now we are living in peace with them uh, we have a border and uh, like what happened after uh, 100 years more than 100 years we we didn't forget it but we don't fight uh, so we a, want to keep it peaceful with turkey and uh, iraq yes. And uh, uh, is we also? don't have uh, borders ah, with sorry, Iraq. Syria. Iranian? Yeah. Uh, no, Syria also we oh, don't sorry, have I'm borders. So we have borders. Uh, Armenia has bordered with Georgia from north, uh, Turkey from west, uh, from south, uh, small border with Iran and uh, Azerbaijan from east. All right. Cool. Thanks.